So we got the 7.3L part, and uh, well, we found this beautiful cracked piston, of course, um, like I said in the other videos. Um, but I've been going back and forth with different guys who work on these things, and they're all saying, "Now oh, you overfueled it, blah, 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 blah. I know for sure, 100%, it was never overfueled. But um, then another guy brought up this point, maybe it's ether. Well, I have never put ether in a diesel. That's just like, duh. <laughs> Don't put ether, ether in your motor. But you never know. I mean, it's possible. I've had this truck for since 2008 with 30,000 miles on it. Okay, I put 30,000 miles on this motor. Um, and you can see, I mean, the rest of the pistons look pretty darn good. I mean, the sides aren't really worn. There's a bit of a, of course, uh, scoring going on in the cylinder that had the uh, cracked piston. And this is all pretty normal amount of uh, carbon on there, not over carbon. And you can see it's not been, this is another one that's cracked. There's a hairline right there. Uh, not over here, but just a little bit right there. From this, looks like it starts in this corner. People say to sand that edge a little bit. Might be a good idea. Um, and uh, to keep the sharp edge off there and it comes from the corner over probably and worked its way over to the edge and then cracks in half. So the way I figure it, it's either one of two problems. I mean, the crankshaft's polished beautiful. There's absolutely no wear. It's totally round. There's no... Uh... So, um, you know, if I was running it hard, if I was putting over fueling it and everything else, then I would probably have an out around crank. Um, you know, a little bit of wear on the mains, which I hear is really, there's really almost nothing. It's not worth even doing much to this crank so um but you know it's possible i'm going to tell you what's possible i'm going to there's either one of two things either when this thing when i bought this thing it was at the auction and i've been going back and forth with this with uh, tim from accurate diesel he's really good if you guys ever need parts he knows his stuff he's i've i this is not my first diesel truck okay I have several. I've had just about every diesel truck except for I won't buy a 6.4. I won't buy a 6.6, .6, period. Um, I won't buy a 6.0. Oh, duh. <laughs> yeah, Ford. But um, And I steer away from Fords most of the time for any vehicle because out of all the vehicles I've ever had, Fords are the most problematic. And I'm just, just that's just the way it is. So that's statistics. Not just my opinion. That's based on numbers. So, anyway. Um, so, apparently, <clears throat> after doing this, if you have the same problem, you have a piston issue, um, <clears throat> you know, kind of go back and see if possibly somebody could have put ether in it. If you're rolling coal, you know, don't do that. <laughs> You'll be like this. Um if you're, you know, if you're pushing your motor too hard like that, you know, and you're rolling coal all the time, you're going to probably crack a piston in one of these things. <clears throat> Obviously, I think that the pistons are somewhat under-engineered. Uh, under and it's possible that when this thing, when I bought this truck, was in the summer of 2008. And in the summer, it had no problem with cold starts and everything else because it wasn't cold. And uh, come around... October, um, when it cooled off a couple of nights, um, I noticed in the morning I had to, it wanted me to use the block, block, uh, heater to start it. And of course I never put ether in it myself. So it could be possible that before I got the truck, that when it was at the auction or something like that, you know, the, those dumb asses over at the auctions, you know, you never know what they're going to do. Um, could have put ether in it oh look i can get the truck started you know shoot some ether in it it's possible 
but would it have gone 30 more thousand miles before it cracked the piston to the point where the truck wouldn't run? That's my question. You know, it's kind of unlikely that it would have gone that far. Um, so the other option is the, you know, is it the piston, you know, being faulty and, and went that, which I think is probable, but the way I look at it is, look, the best option, I've talked to the uh, rebuilders and stuff, guys who do these things every day, and they say that uh, the other pistons that are available suck even worse. So pretty much the only piston that you want is the Molly. And I would highly suggest if you're rebuilding your Ford, if you're going through it and rebuilding it, which I would not buy a used engine for my bucket truck, that would be pretty stupid because if it breaks down and, uh, you know, the tow bill is just super high. I mean, I had a six mile tow bill. It was $450, not from this. It actually drove home, but from, uh, another oil, the you know, oil line blew up. Um, so if you're, if you're looking to rebuild your Ford and, uh, you know, definitely replace the pistons. Don't shortcut it and just put rings in it replace the pistons they obviously are pretty fragile and uh i've seen i'm not the first one to show this and i've seen other guys say the same thing on forums that they've had not they not over fueled it's run stock and they've actually cracked pistons so and i've seen guys of course when they you know got them fueled up and everything else and Exhaust system. Oh, if you do it right, you know, yeah, bullshit. <laughs> do it right. Do it right is leave it stock. Don't put all that crap on there. I mean, yeah, you can put an exhaust system on there to kind of give it some more flow. That wouldn't hurt anything, really. That's going to actually maybe make it run a little bit cooler because air is what cools your diesel, not fuel. More fuel, like in a car, you run more fuel, it makes it run rich. In a diesel, that's actually lean. If you talk to most mechanics, they'll tell you that. So, um, that's, you know, that's the, the key thing is, you know, more air is actually better for the diesel up in the fuel and that'll give you more efficiency and better firing. So, you know, air cleaners are, are good. Exhaust systems. Okay. You know, I don't have any of that stuff on this truck, but those things are the okay. But when you start super chipping it and ramping up the fuel, you know, ramping up the fuel, then that's when you're going to end up with some problems, you know, more fuel. And then you put more, of course, if you go more fuel, you got to go more boost. So if you, cause if you don't do those two things together, then you're going to, you know, crack pistons. So anyway, good old Ford. Like it. Talk to you in the next video.